Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and perhaps most importantly of all, good dryad. Welcome to RimWorld, the dryad series. Current population, one. <laughs> to recap what happened yesterday, we had a silo explosive end to every single one of our dryads bar one poor innocent survivor. Now, I should make it abundantly clear, I hadn't forgotten that mechanoid buildings explode. Despite the 1,000 comments suggesting otherwise, I thought that the dryads would be a little bit tougher than they were, given that only five minutes prior, they were fist fighting murder bots. But when it comes to fire and explosions, it turns out our little tree creatures are at a slight disadvantage. So for all of our dryads that got condemned to this very fancy but macabre dryad graveyard, which was about 97% of them, we'll take that dryad and we'll name its successor after the original one. So our next Cora Dryad will be called, I don't know, Lionheart the Second, for example. And then we'll have a nice indicator for how many Dryad generations we get through by the end of the series. How many poor sweet Dryads laid down their lives in the name of progress. And I'm going to say this now before I get another three or four thousand messages. Yes, I have seen the Elder Scrolls Race Project Spriggan mod. No, I'm not going to be including it in this mod pack because there's already far too much to do in this mod pack as it stands. And I plan on doing a proper Elder Scrolls mod pack in the future anyway, so I don't want to kind of overshadow it a little bit. But I do agree, they look very cool and they would be very on brand. But we already have so many different types of dryad, not only the base game dryads, but potential other future dryads. We have the dryads and the revenants we can produce with petal as well. Trust me when I say I think we're going to be fine for colony defenders. Besides, we have mighty Pierre. Now somebody asked me if we could rename the temple to Pierre's Groove Grove, which I'm absolutely on board with. We'll go ahead and turn it into hybrid disco room temple but also pierre's castle so we'll have to kind of move things around a little bit here and i probably shouldn't have to say this but of course we are going to fill pierre's groove grove with every single auto bond going the dream would be to get enough bees to make enough luciferium so that we could vaporize that across the whole base as well though i say that luciferium are mechanites right nano machines son <laughs> that probably wouldn't be too appropriate for a hippie commune but if they're coming from nature if the bees are making them like a, like a natural version of Luciferium. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to have a discussion about that when it's closest to the time. But we haven't even really started with the bees yet. So I don't think we can focus on that. Ah! Oh! Radioactive fallout. What's the worst thing that could have possibly happened? Shit. Okay. Um. Eventually. Eventually we could glass roof over the entire base. Oh, hold on a second. The heightened radiation levels increase the risk of severe illness even indoors unless deep underground, enclosed in a room with a thick rock roof. You may wish to consider leaving the area until time has passed. You may wish to consider fucking off with that. Okay. I guess an emergency mountain base is on the cards then. Sorcerer and Ball, congratulations, my friends. You're on digging duty. Oh, this is completely the wrong type of green. Barry has developed radiation sickness. Who the hell is Barry? Who is Barry? Yeah, but like, actually, who is Barry, though? Ah. Uh, oh, one of the corpse revenants. Oh, well, shit. This, this is like the worst thing that could have possibly happened. A plant has died due to radiation damage. Hypothermia as well. <laughs> now, normally, dryads are immune to things like toxic fallout and temperature changes, you know, cold snaps, heat waves, that type of thing. They seem like they could be okay. Oh. Radiation levels have returned to normal. <laughs> ah, never mind, I suppose. Um, right. Well, that's very bizarre. I guess it's just a 24-hour event where anybody runs the risk of getting radiation sickness. Okay, but it does look as if the radiation sickness can straight up kill you. 58% out of 300%. So it might end up failing this quest for us entirely. I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. So it might not have been completely unsubstantial and we do still have to deal with the hypothermia which is killing our people so we're not entirely in the clear luckily sidon is the ship cracker you're free my friend and goodbye there you go that was the only thing i was a little concerned about that sidon might have died or the revenants we're supposed to be looking after may have died as well how long have we got left on that quest because we might be able to get them out of here without having to worry about the radiation sickness shot arrives in nine hours yeah you know what i don't think i'll kill them if it can before then so petal is now an acolyte Petal has gained a new title since the bestowing ceremony was cancelled. In order for bestowing to match the new title, another ceremony will be scheduled soon. But my, my sort of goal for today is to get as many of the auto bongs online as possible. We've just finished drug production. We're moving now into smithing and machining. That way we can recycle all of those mechanoids that we that we got from some of the raids. Obviously the mech cluster 
Didn't exactly last very long. Gonna have to restrict them to an area as well, because they can't help themselves but walk around in this freezing friggin' weather. But genuinely, what are you doing right now? Cutting brambles? What the hell? Oh, they're blighted? Oh, because of the radiation. Oh, shit. And we've got also cut blight enabled, obviously. I sure as hell hope that doesn't spread like regular blight, because look at how many look how many things are blighted. Oh, and for our final little dryad, Yeticus. No, 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 I don't want to consume Yeticus. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you for your sacrifice. Hopefully, Yeticus the second lasts <laughs> well longer than a single episode, ideally. There you are, five perfectly fine and absolutely not radiation-ridden revenants. You're welcome. And Petal is already up to Dame. My God. I don't think the game would allow it, but it would be incredible if we could have a grand meditation thrown for Pierre. And then a regular meditation throw next to it for Petal. Let's move the dried research spot out into nature. I guess we'll put it actually amongst the trees. That makes a little more sense. Getting resources this time around is going to be a little tricky until we get the bees going. We're going to have to do a lot of a lot of heavy recycling with the smelters and the machining table, which is fine because it's absolutely on brand. That way we can always keep the bees active 24-7 regardless of rain, snow, or shine. But that still doesn't help us with building the machining table or, or either smeltery right now. I guess we should probably go for the trade console fairly early then, right? The only problem is we need more steel and components to kick it all off. And I've used all of our steel on components on, um, you know, only the most important things. <laughs> it's fair to say we're going about things. Maybe the slightly wrong order for a room playthrough, but absolutely the right order for a drug addled hippie commune. When it's all about theme, that's a victory as far as I'm concerned. Do we even build the hot water tank? Oh, they have finished that. Okay, so that's great. We haven't finished the solar heaters. Those only need steel. Okay, hot water first. Then we'll track down some components to build the tray console. Then we can buy more steel and components to build the machining table. Then we can recycle the mechanoids. Very straightforward. Ah, oh, windows. Nature's door. I never even considered windows before. Well, I mean, evidently I did because I I added them into the mod pack. Rustic window. There we are. Equip the shutter to control the light but does nothing to keep the heat in or out. Ugh. Regular window. Can control light and air separately. Comes with a view. Five steel. Brilliant. So we can't build them. Pierre's friggin' disco room is using up all the damn steel. Oh, and I wouldn't have it any other way. You're welcome, Pierre. The Crusher also sleeps in the same room as Pierre and Jimmy and Gertrude. Hey, Milky and Sorcha have married. Colonists are now celebrating the occasion. Secretly hoping that Milky and Boar finally kick things off as well. And then we can <laughs> get another marriage from this marriage. I should have just named this Pierre and Milky's Magic Adventures. Pierre the party animal and... Well, I mean, milky, milky. Spring has begun. We've done it, team. Another year of existing completely naked out in the cold. The only thing I wish we had, though, was an anima tree. Like a, like a regular base game anima tree. Not the anima nexus, but the thing that you can meditate at and grow the anima grass. I can't for the life of me see one. I keep thinking I see one because of these damn willow trees. <gasps> You son of a bitch, I'm in. So let's very carefully dig that up and get it moved up outside of a loud area safe. Oh yeah, you're right. Let's very carefully dig that up and get it replanted. Be nice if we had that in the middle of the grove and all the other trees around it, but <laughs> at this point, I think it's a little late to start planning that out. Needs to be decently far away from artificial buildings. Had to do a little readjusting there, but I think that works fine. Now, I think because of the mods that we've got going on, because we've got tree connection, because we're a bunch of natural... Lo nature loving hippies they should all be able to use that as a meditation spot normally it's obviously limited to the kind of natural backstory type but that should work fine oh shit okay that's quite a hard choice so the diplomatic marriage are are a way to uh, for us to basically win the game right we send off a colonist they will permanently join another faction in this case they'll leave us they'll join the big league kinship but it will cement relations and strengthen faction ties one of our old colonists is going to go and join their faction permanently they will naturally produce better quality products at the expense of time i mean that with high crafting is is a winner and it boar is is our best crafter i mean petal is almost as good petal has a lot on her plate though i don't think i can justify it with boar I'm sorry, Bigly Kinship. I'm going to have to turn you down. <laughs> Baboon tries his best to not sound rejected. Relations with the Bigly Kinship have deteriorated somewhat. You kind of expect that. I'm sorry, Baboon. Oh, we got components from the Mechanoid Cluster. So all we need now is the steel. Okay, see, it's all coming together. Even if we don't have any good way to get resources, it's, it's, it's all slowly building up. Oh. Oh, Petal was inspired creativity. Wow, an Ironwood Grand Sculpture. 
The piece resembles twin-born mink waiting in a chair. Her body loose and relaxed. I'm not reading anymore. <laughs> Boy, I sure do love ad revenue, which I'm not going to get if I keep going on with that sentence. You keep that between you and Milky, thank you. World's most dangerous comms console. I like it. Heading over there to have a nice innocent chat with a trade ship, and before you know it... Look out! Boy, your skin's gone. Probably doesn't help that we're also nudist, and some of our people are part tree. So hopefully now that'll set us up with everything we need to get a proper little recycling area going on. Now we need is a buttload of steel for Pierre's Groove Grove. We've got six loudspeakers to build. Oh, do we have enough components for all of those? Really? Wow. Although, to be fair, two of those mechanoid raids yesterday dropped like a dozen components each, so I guess we're probably good for those, right? Uh, components. You see, we've still got 16 left. Mine faster, Sorsha! Pierre needs to crunk. Almost drove our people insane, but I think that should probably do it for steel for the time being. Ah, hello there, Orange Ridge. They would like 990 cloth. In exchange, they'll give us either a silent neuroformer or two artistic skill trainers, 189 uranium, or we get 39 goodwill. I mean, the silent neuroformer is very, very tempting. And there is a very simple reason for that. There is a very cool mod, and again, everything is meant to be nice and cohesive this time around. We've got the anima theme, the anima tree, the anima dryads. There is a mod that allows us to install silent neuroformers on animals. And I think there is only one reasonable and responsible thing to do with that silent neuroformer. <laughs> Alright, I'm in. Where are Orange Ridge? Well, that's not nearby. Petal and Crusher, good luck. This is for Psychic Pierre. And fulfill trade offer. There you go. Perfect, thank you. And back up to 52 with the Bigly Kinship as well. There was another reason why I wanted all of that steel. There was a reason I forced them towards their breaking point, and that is to test out whether or not transparent roofs work over trees. And my god, they actually do. We can turn this from regular plain outdoors base into full-on biodome. Then it doesn't matter if it snows or if we have a heat wave or whatever. We seal the whole thing in, we regulate the temperature. It can be paradise. All year round. God damn it, I'm in. This is for you, Pierre. How much is that going to cost me in terms of steel, though? Oh, Lord above. <laughs> right, so like I was saying, that's a very silly idea. There's no way in hell we're going to get ourselves 12,000 steel. We'll make that a long-term goal. As in, so long-term, it's probably never going to happen. I thought the bees themselves were long overdue an upgrade. So I've thrown together this little kind of bee management. I've taken the bee workstations out of the kitchen because nobody wants to go for breakfast and have a swarm of bees hit them in the face. Well, some of you might. There's a lot of weirdos in my Discord. And I think every single one of our Chlorodryads have respawned at this point. They have all 25. You guys good? The casual mind meld and the <laughs> in the hot spring. The only big pain in the ass with all of these upgrades that we've got, the, the smeltery, the machining table, the comms console, the windows, just everything I built here is it's a lot of maintenance. So as I said, machinery is going to be overwhelmed by nature. We have to maintain all of these, all of these separate mechanical buildings. Anything that uses components needs maintenance, which is a real pain in the ass. So we've got to be very careful not to build more than we need. We've got to get the balance kind of right. Otherwise, our people are going to be wasting Basically every day just sitting here maintaining, right? Oh, emergency descent. Well, I was about to accept a quest, but I suppose we'll take that one as well. Eventually, when we get component bees, then this won't be such a big deal. But for the time being, we have to be very, very careful about this. Man, look at our grid as well. Well, might have overloaded that a little. All because of... <laughs> it's all because of Pierre's Groove Grove. 150 watts per speaker. The light ball isn't even connected to power right now. Jesus. Okay, that's the last, that's the last mechanical electronic thing we're going to build for a little while here. We need to we need to start the power grid, maybe get some geothermal generators down before that. So the emergency descent then. Hello. A shuttle of the Commonwealth of Jobs taking damage to seeking a place to land. Free love. One world. Big peace. You're welcome. Join us, my friend. Do you want to take the honor? I mean, at the rate we're going, we might as well just get Petal up to, up to the highest rank, right? That'd be kind of nice. And what better way to change the Empire's minds and thoughts and opinions on nature then to get Pell up there as a high-ranking member of the Empire. She might be able to convince a few people to, to, to change their ways. And more importantly, we don't have a choice. <laughs> that may, mainly that one, I will admit. Let's go ahead and accept with Petal then. And then the other quest I actually wanted to say, the reason I was checking the amount of Dryads we've got, is we have Royals Under Threat, which will give us two mech clusters. Now I know we don't really have the best track record with mech clusters. For God's sake! Well, I really haven't... But that was a good learning experience. Even though we lost all the dryads, we know that they don't set off the proximity alarm. We could just march a dryad in there, and if we hit the power cell or whatever, one single very heroic dryad could take out the whole cluster, assuming they get a good placement like we had last time. Let's deal with the shuttle first, and then we'll see how it goes. 
Hello there. Very happy to get some more components. And what are they being hunted by again? Remind me. Outlanders from the Marooned Warriors. Dryads? Let's get to work. That's all right. The cavalry's here. Don't panic. <laughs> Just the Imperials start screaming en masse at the sight of 25 Chlorodryads coming after them. Where's the final one? Hey! Hurry up, Chlorodryad 1. Oh, good lord. Well, I guess in that case, we'll say that 24 and a half Dryads died yesterday. Someone had the absolute genius idea yesterday to name the one dryad that survived none other than ice wolf <laughs> so we've just basically signed this this poor little dryad's death warrant my god they're here sick em, boys get them <laughs> ah, never gets old does it it's just such a fucking sight just to watch him descend it it is it is like the zerg we take any hits there is everybody holding up marius the second chuckles the second not looking so good but i think everyone else is fine what the fuck is that gun Bow action rifle. Ice Wolf looks damaged, but it's actually fine. It's just the fact that Ice Wolf is, um, <laughs> in tatters. Two shreds, you say? Give me that shuttle. I'm gonna send them back. I don't expect another raid coming soon. Yeah, we should be able to get them out before they turn up. There you go. Emergency descent is complete. Petal is now Praetor. I haven't even given her a first rank yet. Oh, and a friend. Hello. Bull Castaneda. Are you any good? Uh, 13 social, double passion, wowee. Uh, eight artistic, double passion, animals, double passion. Chemical fascination, you'll fit right in. Neurotic is obviously very good if we can keep them happy, which absolutely we can. Slob, a little bit of a pain in the ass, but not a big deal. Hang on, someone on Discord told me I could do this. Where is little Pierre? Pierre, I've just got a test. Oh my god, you can. <laughs> Pierre kills, but he also saves. <laughs> Ah, there's no way he's going to get there in time. Uh, bleeding out in five seconds. Pierre! Tend him, you idiot! Oh, no. He's done for. He's done for. I tried. I tried to save him. I genuinely did. Ooh, a pickaxe, though. Hey, that'll do. Who's a good miner again? Remind me. That was... Well, we haven't really got a good miner, but Sorcerer is as good as it gets. I'll be the first to admit, I got a little distracted today with, with just getting rank after rank after rank for Petal, which, again, is insane and, and, and pretty nice for our end goal. But let's get back on with the main event. Pierre's Groove Grove. Light balls are done. Disco ball is done. Throne's going to take a little while because we need like shitloads of gold. And I'm building that out of beeswax too as a nice natural throne. So what I want to work on now is the drugs vaporizers. That, that's If I get that done today, I'll die happy. Not that I plan on dying between today and tomorrow. So we need a drugs lab, which I assume we don't have the materials for. Drugs lab, drugs lab, drugs lab. It's here somewhere. There we go. Uh, 12 components. Oh, shit. That's me saying that <laughs> hey, we've got plenty of components. We'll never need to worry about it. Let's call in the mech clusters then. Yeah, you know what? We've got to turn... This is bizarre. What a strange outcome. We're genuinely going to turn mech clusters into... Uh, into drugs. Which I think is is just fantastically on brand. Of course, we'll accept it with Petal again. And they've given us cataphracts. Oh, incredible. Hello, hello, hello. Join us. Look at these guys. So we've got three guests that we have to keep happy. And then five cataphracts. We've got two with rocket launchers, one with a charge chance, charge rifle, and the fun one is a minigun. This is great. I don't think I have room for all of these people. What we'll do is we'll convert the hospital and the uh, and the prison into, I guess, just regular plain old... Ah! The hell did that happen? Into regular plain old living quarters for now, then. So reliably, right now, we can definitely make go juice. Whether we should is another thing entirely. Same with flake. But we can also make wake up. The only things that we're going to struggle to get are Ambrosia and Luciferian, but eventually, eventually, the bees will deal with it. Ooh, a Psychic Soothe as well? Well, that's certainly going to help keeping their mood above 25%. Not that we have to worry about that, because they are basically permanently inebriated. Oh, shit, and that was 24 days? Oh, man, I didn't realize it was quite that long. Shit, are we going to have enough food for this many people? 5,000 corn. That's not going to go that far. There's me complaining we haven't got enough steel. Meanwhile, out there on the map, we've got dozens and dozens of steel slag junks. Like, hundreds. I guess we'll set up boar, seeing as you're going to be our crafter. We'll set you up with the fabrication, machining, smithing, tailoring. I guess smelting as well, then. Might drop down harvesting and growing for boar, seeing as you're not very good at it. Pruning we need to keep high priority, though. There we go. There we go. It's all coming together now. All we need is some components. We could begin work towards fabrication. We don't even have multi-analyzers yet, nor do we even have powered research benches, so it might be a little early for that. What about, like, um... We don't have the mod that adds lathes, do we? Bees? I suppose we could use bees. Ah, uh, never mind. Bees can only give us the bio components we need to make better beehives. Okay. That wasn't what I was expecting at all. 
You're not mechanoids. Shit, I hope a mech cluster doesn't drop down on top of this. This is a regular, plain old, normal raid. 1,073, so about the same as what they were before. We could just send the cataphracts in, though, couldn't we? Dry to people. Oh, we're saying the dry to the equivalent people? No. Send the cataphracts in. They die first. I know that that doesn't really make much sense that we're saying dry to people, so we're going to send the people in to die. These are sinful people who eat meat and wear leather, I assume. You know, I don't think I'm going to waste those triple rocket launchers. Let's bring you guys back for <laughs> emergencies, and then we'll get the dryads in to back up the cataphracts. Because we know the dryads can deal with mech clusters. You... You son of a bitch. We know the dryads can deal with mech clusters, given that we dealt with the mech cluster, I think, pretty handily yesterday. Let's get back behind some cover, then. Run back, run back, run back. I was hoping we could pick some off before they come together. To be fair, we've done a pretty good job of that, I think. Petal, 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 piss off. Okay, all of our people, let's just draft them up and, and hide them away somewhere in case they're... <laughs> in case they're tempted to come out here. Smoke pop belt. Okay, that's not really a big deal, given they popped it in front of our people. Very bizarre. Oh, he's got smoke grenades. Why are you... Why are you like this? Dryads. Kill. Go through the smoke, little dryads. <laughs> they saw two cataphracts when they threw the smoke, and now they're getting picked off. Can't see what's killing us. Oh! Line up the second and Zorato. I'm so sorry. Avenge them. Avenge your dryad friends. Get in there. Go. Come on. Ice Wolf is dead. <laughs> to no one's surprise, Ice Wolf is dead. Get out of there. Get out of there, little dryads. You've, you've done your part. It's fine now. No! Oh, kiss the second. Right. How dare you. How dare you. I know it's supposed to be a peace loving hippies, but... No! It's fucking chloride dryads. They made it paper. Didn't I tell you to stay indoors? Hey, get out of here. What the fuck? You can't come in here. Hey, get that man. Oh, you fool. <laughs> oh, no, you fool. Pierre is on him. Get him, Pierre. What a way to die, though. Surrounded by nature. Turns out Sorsha got shot because Sorsha is a coward and was running away from combat, but she was running away in the wrong direction, like towards the enemies, basically. And I know, I know you can make healing cocoons with the dryads. I think they deserve full-on hospital treatment. I still wish we could find a way to have search and destroy with the dryads, because micromanaging 25 little dryads that are all identical in combat is... Kind of interrupts the flow of things a little bit, you know? I want to be able to appreciate them swarm in and take out enemies by themselves. <laughs> you can't. You can't just say something like that. There is one man perfect for this job. There is no booty too complex for Milky the Herbalist. Well, I think Milky has probably seen more complex booties than that. I'm not really sure what we would want from here, and I'm sure as hell hoping that doesn't count as a raid. It shouldn't though, right? Ooh, we observed a rotting corpse, which freaked them out quite a lot. But other than that, no. This is okay. This is safe. Oh, good. Herbal medicine. Thank you for that. I will put that with the uh, with the rest of our herbal medicine collection. 32 Hyperweave. It's almost not worth getting it because we're not going to get enough to make that worthwhile. But you know what? We could sell it, I suppose. Oh! Milky! You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just walk it off. There you go. See? Just a couple of burns. Just a couple of potentially deadly burns. Components, though. I love components. Or nothing. Well, wow, that was just terrible. Sod it. Let's try the supply drop. We might get something. Okay, here it comes. And they have <laughs> wasabi. What the fuck? Okay. Time to start packing, Milky. Let's get you out of here. It better let me leave with Crusher, even though there are enemies here now. We're near the... We can't, we can't reform the caravan. Crusher? I'm gonna do what's right. We're gonna release him to the wild. Goodbye, little crusher. We'll see you again one day, I'm sure. This is for your own good. Otherwise, they're just gonna they're just gonna gun him down. They're just gonna kill the poor guy. Well, that absolutely wasn't worth it in the least. We traded the crusher for some <laughs> wasabi paste. What the hell do you mean defoliate a ship? What did those muffalos do? <laughs> oh my <laughs> Kinyeo's animations gets me every time with the <laughs> with the stuff drop and roll. I suppose I did ask for components, so I really can't complain about this. They're sending the cats right, so they should be able to tidy this up in no time. We're like two lancers, a scyther, and a pikeman. That's easy. I think the defoliator ship in this case might be defoliating from the amount of fucking fire it's putting down. Oh, you idiot. I thought he had his shotgun equipped. Well, never mind, I suppose. Kind of wanted to save that for the cluster, but I won't lose any sleep over it. They're not my cataphracts. Okay. Problem solved. Non-violence theories, no weapons or armor. Meanwhile, episode three, we're dealing with our raids with <laughs> heavily armored cataphracts. Never mind. Turn the mechanoids into drugs. One component? What the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Bold goods trader! Capital partners, you may have just saved the day, my friend. Components. Give me components. What have they got? 
Oh, uh, here you go, here you go. 28. We'll sell the Hyperweave that Milky risked life and limb for, and then we'll swap that all out for a components. We're going to need a lot more than that, though, unfortunately. You guys like, um, oh, shit, look at the Ironwood. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, other than that, honestly, I can't imagine there's anything else we need right now. Gold. We do need gold. We need it for Pierre's throne. <laughs> not not Petal's throne, Pierre's throne. Here, take the rest of... Take, take, take that, we'll just go... Try and break even a little bit on it. In fact, break even perfectly on it. Thank you. So that gives us 30 total components. Fantastic. So now, I guess we'll throw down the drugs lab. Obviously, wooden drugs lab here. We're not animals. There we go. Perfect. Now, that is another electronic thing we will have to manually maintain here. So we've got smoke leaf joints. Do we even have any psychoid? Obviously, smoke leaf we're, we're pretty damn covered for. Um, oh, uh, 765. Is that all? Really? They've hauled some over and I just didn't notice. Wow. I'd assume we'd have got way more than that given the size of the field. Oh, they're all deteriorating. Oh, you absolute fool. You moron. You idiot. I'm supposed to be hauling it into here. Why are they just not hauling things? I guess they've been too busy with all the fucking steel slag chunks. Get those moved. Ah, there you go. Flake me upper. Thank you. Uh, not really the best outcome there with the psycho leaves, but we've, we've got them now. So I suppose that works. Are these windows letting... Can I determine which side of it is exterior? Hey? Oh, wait, what? No, that one can. I have no idea. I was going to say these windows are in heat throw or something, because I set to minus nine. I'm set to minus nine as well. Because it is very warm outside. Well, we might have lost the crop, but we can still make this happen. So we want, I think in order, probably Psychite Refining, then Go Juice, then Wake Up. Tell me we can't aerosolize Panoxicillin. Damn it. And then in the Misc tab, we want to throw down... Oh, you actually need the flake to build the thing. Okay, so it's three components per per drug sprayer, for lack of a better word. So it's going to be seven in total. Lucifer, Yayo, Go Juice, Ambrosia, Wake Up Flake, and Smoke Leaf. So even now, we don't have enough components, right? Because it's three components per thing. And we've only got 18. Damn it. Oh, and we've actually got all the resources we need for Pierre's throne. Wake Up, Petal. You've got work to do. Okay, okay. Here we are. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> Back in here. Someone finished this fucking throne. Pierre is waiting. Oh, look at that. Unowned. No, no, no. We know it's owned by Pierre. Can we make him the heir? Can we transfer him the title? I genuinely wouldn't be surprised if there was a mod to transfer animals royalty title. So I will look that up and see what we can do. That's nice. Let's get rid of these spare pillars. Then I'm making room for the other two autobongs that we definitely want. Again, I'm not sure I'm going to lose fear him, so I'm left room for that one. This is going to be a hell of a fucking party room. Counts as a throne room now. That doesn't count as disrespecting the altar or anything, right? They seem fine with it. Aha! There we go. Ooh. Mm. You know, I hate to say it. I don't think a single drive will be able to take that one out, team. My god. I suppose we could run one in to go and kick the unstable power cell. That would take this a lot out. But even then, that's a lot. That's that's a big challenge. We'll use our cataphracts now that we've got them. But we'll have to think about what the hell we're going to do about that in the future. Other than just recruiting more people and planting more trees. What's wrong with you, boar? How was someone broken down here? Bad hygiene. Trees wrecked? What? Why are you the only one upset about that? What trees have we wrecked? We haven't built anything. Oh, I wonder if where they used explosives, they hit trees and it destroyed them. That genuinely could be it. The cat sprites are ready to go. I'd love to give them more cover, but we don't really have much on that front. However, it would be a real shame to miss out on this. Honestly, what I can only describe as golden opportunity. Oh, there are in fact two golden opportunities, aren't there? Oh, you know what? That one might work even better just overall. You take that one out. That blows up that one. These will, in theory, take this out, too. Luckily, I have just the man for the job. <laughs> the cataphracts can hit that one. Probably no, no issue. I think they'll be okay, especially as this person has the charge lance that won't reach. All right, let's uh, reevaluate that a little bit. There you go. Like I was saying, the cataphracts probably hit that one. No issue. Ice Wolf can just go ahead and trundle in there. And then... Godspeed, little Ice Wolf. Godspeed. Oh, God. Okay, it takes him quite a long time to... Okay, I probably could have probably could have seen that one coming. Shit. What I meant to say is good luck, little cataphracts. Good luck. Well, that should deal with a good chunk of it, I hope. Not bad, not bad. Let's push forward and actually just get this cover instead. Fucking Ice Wolf. <laughs> should have should have really predicted that they would see him trying to punch that that vanimetric power cell. Get it, get it, get it. Come on, come on. There you go. There you go. That should do it. Okay, let's change fire a little bit onto these instead. You wanna get behind some cover there? 
Holy crap. Oh, that almost took out the whole thing. Not bad, team. Not bad. They wouldn't have been able to do it without Ice Wolf. I mean, we all know. We all know that's the truth. A couple of turrets left, and we are as good as new. Ice Wolf, your sacrifice, my friend. You may have saved us. Without that damage, might not have got that chain reaction off. Um, I definitely didn't waste a whole dryad on that. <laughs> okay, there you go. One component again. I do think that's a little unfair, to be completely honest, but never mind. Yeah, get it, Fox! Kill that fucking crow. I mean, I know it's supposed to be vegan here, but I can celebrate that. Ooh, wake up, Fog. We can't even make wake up yet, but you know. You know, in hindsight, we could just build some high-tech research benches. How's the power grid looking? Fine. I don't know if it'll last overnight with two high-tech research benches, but we can at least build one of them. No, we can't because we've only got eight components. Balls. <laughs> sure. Whatever floats your boat. Psychite refining is done. We're moving on to Go Juice. Let's get a drugs expert on the case then. Which right now is everybody, understandably. Milky? I guess Milky can do it. Oh, our good intellectual character is incapable of drugs. That's quite annoying. I'm gonna take him away from the bees for this. Oh, no! Is that the emergency? Ah, incredible. If these guys don't go down, we'll send in the dryads, but I'm not gonna risk the dryads for this. They've already fucked it. <laughs> They've already ballsed it up. Anima bear. Psychic Joris. Okay, we'll talk about you in a second. Get him. Get him, little dryads. This should be easy for them. Nice. There you go. There you go. There you go. Not enough insects. It's over. Just like that. There are two of them. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I, um... Ah, oh, fuck it. I mean, why not? Worst case scenario, Petal gets savaged by... Giant psychic bear. And there it is. Every single one of the drugs vaporizers we can build for the time being are complete. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Whoa, what? 1500 watts? Oh my god, they're both 1500 watts. What the fuck? Regular autobahn's 150. Well, everybody better come and get it while it's good, I suppose. No. Can we? We can't. How long? 42 days, sub that. Uh let's just have let's just have a regular chill. So a regular chill. Invite the team. Wow. I mean, this is it. This this is exactly what I wanted from today. And I mean, I couldn't be happier. We've nailed it. Pierre's Groove Grove. I assume everybody is losing their fucking mind right now. The real question is, big man Pierre, how are you feeling? Oh yeah, that'll do it. Let's get him into the middle of things a little bit more. Oh no! That was the worst time for a met cluster. <laughs> I don't think anybody's going to be able to shoot straight at this point. Holy shit. Stone on Smoteleaf, high on Yeo, high on Flake. Milky is out there doing what Milky does best. Holy crap. Be proud, little Pierre. We've done it. This is the gold standard now. And I guess for today, we'll leave it there. Tomorrow, we'll have to worry about increasing the power grid so that we keep this many bongs on at once. We need to get the Goju sorted. We need to find a way to get to Ambrosia. So that'll probably be with the bees. And then we'll also have to decide whether or not Luciferium is acceptable. And of course it was fun. Everybody had a good time then. You guys can go now. What a party, eh? And I assume these guys are all... Yep. <laughs> what an incredible mod. And I guess that thing right there, that is tomorrow's problem now. Thank you all for watching. What a, what a thoroughly bizarre experience. That was... um. Yeah, pretty much what I expected from that. I'm hoping we get those final two auto bongs done. And I don't know, I guess we'll take a poll or something in the description for what on earth we're trying to do with uh, Luciferium. I'll leave something in the comments anyway. Thank you in the meantime, of course, to Crunchy Medic, Archbishop, Starlight the Jill Pet, Anastara, Master of Gaming 22, Avion, Master Rob, Tom Paz, Skaz, Justin Rules, Spongy1312, Dirty Mike and the Girls, T-Rex, Tenacious Bloom, Asana Kirito, Psycho Fire, Alex Monk, Palitinate, Nick Danger 013, Bludus, and Hobo Billy Joel for their support over at the Executive Producer Tears over on Patreon. Thank you all for being there. And a thank you as well to Bucky, Atreusen, Kestrian, Skunkalope, Laser Gaming, Blasticus, Dunamai, Aragon Awesome, Lilac, Donald, Evan Dragon 323, Dodger, Fred, Chief Werewolf, Jordan, Duke, and Bobo Bobo Bo Bo Bobo.